Almost everyone's mad here. <laughs> Hey guys! What's up? We're here! Disney! Swan! So excited! We got checked in and I guess surprisingly, I mean because it's 111, our room was ready. Yes. Yeah. Super excited. So we're going to show you the room and then we're going to, I think, head to Epcot. Yes. So let's show you around. First of all, this is our doorway as always. And we've never actually technically stayed at the Swan. I slept right. on the couch one night when my brother was here for an event, but that was it. I mean, it was literally sleeping. Um, these are very comparable, I feel like, to the Dolphin, but I don't feel like the Dolphin has this double sink set up, do they? I don't know. I can't because remember. obviously here's your one sink, plenty of storage. There's your second sink, toilet, and shower. Like a nice big rain head. And the little wand and everything. Mm-hmm. And tub for the kiddos, yeah, if anybody has kiddos. That can be very important. And then I like how there's a mirror on the door, and yeah. then there's storage, which is great. Um, that came with two of the luggage. Of yeah. I wonder if that's on accident. So like somebody requested a second one or something, and they left it here. Or I don't know. Maybe. Now, major difference, and these are good sized rooms. Major difference between dolphin and swan is that swan has queen beds. Woohoo! Dolphin has full beds still, even after they refurbed the whole place, which I thought was kind of interesting. So there's our stuff right there. Hopefully out of the way, because this is not just our room for this weekend. This is our really good friend, Lucy and Caleb, that they're coming after they work. And they're both school teachers. Well, she's an assistant principal, but... Your mini fridge. Oh, there's two waters in there already, and there's two under there. Nice. It doesn't have a tag on them, like, you'd have to pay for them. Um... Most everyone's mad here. <laughs>